Bitter cold winter days are upon us here in Utah, as Allison has forecast, and these temperatures can be fatal for those living on the street. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Breeze shows us how, despite the challenges, people in Provo are trying to help the most vulnerable to stay warm. A lot of people say, you know, there's no homeless people in Provo or in this area. They're everywhere. You don't see them very often. You're right. But we do. Pastor Justin Banks is setting up his church for a homeless movie night. It really is about keeping people off the street, um, making sure they're safe, making sure they're warm. On the coldest winter nights, he opens up the Genesis Project from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., welcoming anywhere from 20 to 40 people. Banks says in Utah County, there are no homeless shelters because zoning laws don't allow them. We haven't had shelters here forever. I mean, we don't have shelters. So when I ask people why do they stay, they tell me that this is their home. Their family lives here. They might not have any connections with their family, uh, but this is where their family lives and this is where they grew up. Provo City Police have noticed an increase in homelessness recently. The city has an ordinance that requires a permit to camp. The way that we enforce this is with compassion and um, not with an iron fist. Chief Troy Beebe says officers communicate with people experiencing homelessness and give them time to disperse. There are places where they can stay if they choose to. These individuals are vulnerable and um, I, I am very concerned about uh, them. I do need them to want resources and want help. That's where people like Pastor Banks come in, collecting donations like blankets, sleeping bags, clothing, coats, and tarps. When you touch their heart with love and compassion and you show them value, it changes them. The only chance that they have to get off the street is to be treated with respect and like human beings. In Provo, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.